Hey folks, this is Kalani. Welcome back to the Legion Alpha, where Beast Mastery Hunter was just activated. That means we can have a poke around the base abilities, talents, and artifact talents to see just how Beast Mastery Hunter is changing. And believe me, it seems to be changing quite a lot. Which, you know, kind of puts it in line with the rest of Hunter, with marksmanship receiving quite a few changes and survival just being completely overhauled. So, a few abilities use the same names that you might be familiar with, but they're actual use is going to be quite a bit different. So we'll go through the base abilities very quickly first. Dire Beast seems to be the most important one because it's how we're going to regenerate focus. I know you say Cobra Shots over there, but that doesn't regenerate focus anymore. So we'll get to them, we'll get to them. Dire Beast, 10 second cooldown, summons a Dire Beast for 8 seconds, which attacks the target and gives you 4 focus for every time it attacks. It also reduces the cooldown of Bestial Wrath by 15 seconds whenever you summon a beast. Now there's one more part to this, and that's there's a 20% chance when you crit to reset Dire Beast. Meaning if you have enough crit, you can have plenty of these Dire Beasts out, because you can have more than one out at a time. So let's see what that looks like. Hopefully we'll get a few crits, get a few resets. If we don't, it's a shame, but I've had two out at once. Three seems to be a bit of a push without a ridiculous amount of crit, but you can reset it and it does, once again, reduce the cooldown of Bestial Wrath. So, look at Kill Command, pretty much the same as it's always been. It's 20 focus now, 6 second cooldown, and I guess that's literally going to be the same. Just keep it on cooldown as much as you can. Now we talked about Cobra Shot. Cobra Shot is strange. It's it's a dump. It's basically Arcane Shot now, so it doesn't regenerate focus. It's not a cast, so it's instant, costs 30 focus, and just does a bit of damage. It seems to do the job. Then we have Multi Shot. Beast Cleave doesn't seem to have changed at all. We can look at the passive in here. Beast Cleave, after you Multi Shot, your pet's melee attacks also strike all other nearby enemy targets for 100% as much for the next 4 seconds. So Multi Shot and Beast Cleave still make Beast Mastery, a very dangerous contender for AoE. We have Beast Your Wrath as our pretty standard use on cooldown cooldown, but it's changed a little. So it sends you and your pet into a range for 15 seconds, increasing the damage you both deal by 20%. There's nothing there on reducing focus cost, and there's nothing about breaking fears. So I guess it's just for the damage, which kind of makes sense considering we can reset it so much. If we get enough crits here at least, We don't want to crit, but that's fine, that's fine. You can see the cooldown does get chunked off whenever you use Dire Beast. So that's pretty much all of the base abilities, except we've got a new cooldown in Aspect of the Wild. A two minute cooldown increases the crit strike chance of all skills for you and your pet by 10% and you gain 10 focus per second for 10 seconds. So, guess that's probably the best way to see some crits. Even though we're still not gonna see any crits. That's disappointing, but at least we do have a cooldown there to increase the chance for those resets, making that, hopefully, quite a powerful tool later on. I'm wondering how much crit we're going to be stacking as a survival hunter. Now let's blow through talents really quickly, because warlocks seem to be destroying the game right now, and half their spells seem to crash the game, even if you're not the one casting them. So we have one with the pack, the chance for wild call to reset the cooldown of diabetes is increased by 10%, making that 30% chance on crit instead of 20%. We have the cobra, for every pet or guardian you have active, cobra shot deals an additional 5% damage, meaning that obviously if you can get quite a few dire beasts off, your cobra shot starts dealing a crazy amount of damage. Dire Stable, Dire Beast generates four extra focus when they attack. So you basically have two when you have one. Very nice for the focus regen, but I wonder how that would play out with the numbers. Obviously, if you don't have a lot of crit, that might be the nice one so you don't end up focus starved. Post Haste hasn't changed. Disengage also frees you from movement impairing effects and increases your movement speed by 60%. Fast Rider, whenever your attacks cause a crit, there's a chance the cooldown of Disengage will be reduced by 10%. Again, it's kind of interesting. You'd need a lot of crit, which I guess we might actually get with Beast Mastery to make that worthwhile, and you'd be jumping all over the place, but without Kill Flip from Marksmanship, I really don't think that would be worth anything. Dash is what I mentioned earlier, the talent to increase the duration of Aspect of the Cheetah by 3 seconds. Stomp, when your Dire Beasts charge in, they will stomp the ground, causing 400% physical damage to all nearby enemies. We're in combat. 
Now the sad thing is that this pet actually comes from the artifact and the only way to stop it attacking is to take the artifact off. There we go. A little frustrating, but never mind. We have Stomp, so we'll see what that looks like. There's the Stomp. Looked like a Thunderclap. Didn't really get to see how much damage it does, but 400% weapon damage is nothing to sniff at. Exotic Munitions hasn't changed at all. Incendiary Ammo gives you an AoE. Poison Ammo gives you a single target damage over time. And Frozen Ammo slows on your auto shots. Only one can be active at one time. Chimera Shot. Anybody who was looking for it in the marksmanship video, well, here it is. Two-headed shot that hits your primary target and another nearby target dealing nature or frost damage, so that part hasn't changed. However, it generates 10 focus for every target hit on a 9 second cooldown. So, I'm guessing that's going to be the focus staffed option if you can't quite get enough focus. I mean, the damage might be there as well, especially for cleave encounters, but stomp might just be the damage portion, which, you know, it'll be a numbers game, or you'd change it depending on the encounter, which I think is the idea of these talents and could be very fun. Binding shot hasn't changed at all. The same magical arrow, which stuns anybody who tries to run away from it. Wyvern sting basically hasn't changed from what we have right now as well. Unusable while, no, usable while moving, and it is still a cast time. Intimidation, pretty much the same as what we've had. Command your pet to intimidate the target, stunning it for three seconds, one minute cooldown. Big Game Hunter increases the crit strike chance of your auto attacks and cobra shots by 50% on targets who are above 80% health, which is kind of weird because that has actually been removed from marksmanship. So I guess Beast Mastery is now king of crit instead of marksmanship and that would be very valuable on any burst target and I guess you'll get a lot of resets there for Dire Beast. Very interesting. Bestial Fury increases the damage of Bestial Wrath by 20%. Pretty pretty boring actually. I mean 20% is quite a lot don't, don't get me wrong but compared to that one it doesn't seem to have as much to it although damage numbers will tell. And then we've got Blink Strikes, so your pet's basic attacks deal 50% increased damage and can be used from 30 yards away and will instantly teleport them behind the target. So it's pretty much what we've got right now. A Murder of Crows hasn't changed at all. Barrage hasn't changed at all. Volley, if you haven't seen it, we can poke around with Volley. Let's just get the pets off the target. There we go. Okay, so this isn't really what it used to be. Let's put it on there for easy access. You volley in a target and then arrows rain down on targets within that area. So it's not all over the place. You know, we're not wasting arrows anymore. Stampede has changed quite a bit and this is this is quite an interesting one. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this, and there's a, there's a reason I'm going over here. So, Stampede. Summon for the herd of stampeding animals from the wilds around you that deal damage to your enemies. So we'll target the last one. It's in range, and we'll stampede. So, it doesn't matter where you move, meaning that you need to be very careful about where you cast Stampede, but it's no longer summoning a bunch of pets. Instead, it's literally just a stampede of animals through a line from where you stand to where you cast. Which doesn't really seem to do all that much damage, especially on a three minute cooldown. I guess we'd have to see the numbers for a very large AoE fight that could completely decimate everything around you. But compared to what it used to be, that's that's slightly disappointing, especially when you get um, Way of the Cobra. Every pet or guardian have active Cobra Shot deals an extra 5% damage. Can you imagine that with the old Stampede? I guess it might be a little broken, but it would have been hilarious. Now, kill a Cobra while Bestial Wrath is active. Cobra Shot has a 25% chance to reset the cooldown of Kill Command. Sadly, Kill Command doesn't seem to have a great deal to it except the damage component. You know, if that was resetting Dire Beast, it'd be salivating all over that. But it's just Kill Command. I wonder if that'll tie into other things later. Aspect of the Beast, Kill Command causes your additional, an additional effect rather, based on your pet's specialization. So, Ferocity would cause your pet to bleed the target for an additional three, I guess, 
hopefully that's higher, damage over 6 seconds. Tenacity, your pet also takes 15% reduced damage, and Cunning, your pet also snares the target, reducing their movement speed by 70% for 4 seconds. Now, if you could take these two at the same time, that might be a little, I guess, a little broken, but still very nice, and I think that would be the only time I would actually take Killer Cobra, but damage will tell. So the only thing left to look at is how the artifact affects how we're going to play. Now, as I said earlier, the first thing that your artifact does is when you wield it, you gain Haiti, Hattie, whatever they're called. It's a new companion, it's a new pet, although you can't control it at all, which is kind of frustrating. So they'll attack when you attack, but if you send your pet to a move to location, they won't they won't bother. You know, they'll just keep attacking if you tell your pet to come back and follow. Again, they don't really do anything. The only way that I've found out how to get rid of it or to stop it attacking is to actually unequip Titan Strike, which is a little annoying to say the least. But apart from that, we can actually have a look at the artifact's talent. So the first thing that you get is Titan's Thunder. Discharge a jolt of, a massive jolt rather, of electricity from the Titan Strike into all your pets and dire beasts, causing them to deal 2k nature damage to their target every 1 second for 8 seconds. It's on a minute cooldown, making it very nice, but I guess it's going to rely on you getting a few dire beasts out. So we'll pop Aspect of the Wild, see if we can get a few crits out, and we'll see how many dire beasts we can actually get out here. Hopefully we can get at least another one, so we can use a decent Titan's... Titan's Thunder. We can't seem to get any any resets at all, so we'll just do this with a single dire beast. So you can see the lightning effect going on. It's pretty cool, it comes from Hattie as well. Haiti. So you're guaranteed pretty much three. If you can push to four, that'll be really cool. But maybe a bit too much of a push, especially when it's on a minute cooldown, you don't really want to sit on it too long. But it actually seems to do quite a bit of damage, which is nice to see. So we'll blast through these really quickly. Bear in mind that there's going to be three ranks. If it's three ranks, chances are your time is by three. So Kill Command has a 5% chance, so that should be 5, 10, 15, to be empowered by the Titan Spark, dealing an additional 50% of its damage as nature damage. Mimiran Shell, when you activate Aspect of the Turtle, you'll heal for 10% of your maximum health over its duration. Pack Leader, increase the damage of Kill Command by 5%. We've got our first big one, Storm Shot. When you activate Aspect of the Wild, Titan Strike forms a ball of lightning in front of you that builds up over 10 seconds. When Aspect of the Wild ends, your next Cobra Shot will send the ball of lightning at the target, dealing 20,000 damage. Hmm. So that's guaranteed damage, or is the the build-up actually going to, you know, do damage depending on how much you damage during the build-up? We'll have to see what exactly happens with that. Renewed Vigor, each time you summon a Dire Beast, the cooldown of acceleration is reduced by 3 seconds. Pretty cool. Focus of the Titans, multi-shot focus cost is reduced by 5, 10, 15, I would guess. Unleash the Beast increases the damage bonus from Bestial Wrath by 2%, 2, 4, 6, maybe. Spirit Bond, you heal for 15% of the damage of your pet's Kill Command. That could be very interesting, especially for PvP. Beast Cleave deals an additional 10, 20, 30%, maybe, damage. Next big one, Master of Beasts. Hattie, Haiti, whatever, will now also benefit from Bestial Wrath and will Kill Command and Beast Cleave alongside your primary pet. Wow, I think that's probably going to be the one most people rush for. That's going to be crazy. Where do we get to? Next big one, I guess. Surge of the Storm God. When you use multi-shot, Titan Strike has a chance to discharge an electric current at your pets, causing an explosion of electricity that damages all nearby enemies within 5 yards for 8,000 nature damage, give or take. Then we've got Natural Reflexes, increases the chance for you and your pet to dodge an attack by 2%, 2, 4, 6. Wilderness Expert, Aspect of the Wild lasts an additional 1, 2, 3 seconds, potentially. I wonder how that would affect the Storm Shot. Hmm. Hunter's Advantage, when you use dis when you use Misdirection on your pet, your pet takes 35% less damage for 8 seconds. Very good for soloing. And then last, Spitting Cobras. Cobra shot damage increased by 3%. Probably 369, 3610, something like that. And that's all the talents. A lot revolving around your pets. 
which is going to be really interesting. I'm really excited to see how Beast Mastery actually turns out. This could be another hit or miss spec with a lot of RNG. It's going to be weird stacking crit as a Beast Mastery hunter. I'm assuming that's what they want us to do. I I can't wait to actually get my hands on this in the the full version. You know, I'm wondering how much of this will will change. Hopefully not much, because it actually seems to be quite an interesting way to play. There's a lot relying on your pets, which, you know, is the fantasy, or would be the fantasy, I hope, of a Beast Mastery Hunter. So we'll have to see how things shape up in the final form. But that's it for this video. That's Beast Mastery Hunter as it looks right now. I'm really sad about the stampede change. I think that's the biggest thing that I'll take away from this. I'm really sad about the stampede change, but never mind. If you have any questions, queries, or theories, please leave them in the comments section below, and I'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching, folks. Good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.